God. This place sticks like a pair of armoured trousers after the Hundred Years' War. <laughs> well, Rick, have you been eating dung again? My Lord! Success! What? After literally an hour's ceaseless searching, I have succeeded in creating gold! Pure gold! Are you sure? Yes, my Lord. Behold! Percy, it's green. <laughs> That's right, my Lord. Yes, Percy, I don't want to be pedantic or anything, but the colour of gold is gold. That's why it's called gold. What you have discovered, if it has a name, is some green. <laughs> oh, Edmund! Can it be true that I hold here in my mortal hand a nugget of purest green? Indeed you do, Percy, except, of course, it's not really a nugget, is it? It's more of a splat. <laughs> well, yes, a splat today, but tomorrow, who knows? or dares to dream. So we three alone in all the world can create the finest green at will. <laughs> Just so. I'm not sure about camping in Baldwick, actually. Of course, you know what your great discovery means, don't you, Percy? Perhaps, my lord. That you, Percy, Lord Percy, are an utter burk. <laughs> Baldwick, my lord, pack my bags, I'm going to sell the house. What? What? There's nothing else for it. I mean, I shall miss the old place, I know. I've had some happy times here when, when you and Percy have been out. <laughs> but needs must when the devil vomits into your kettle. <laughs> Baldrick, go forth into the streets and let it be known that Lord Blackadder wishes to sell his house. Percy, just go forth into the street. <laughs> Percy, what is that on the front of your tunic? Uh, it is a brooch, my lord. A brooch cunningly fashioned from pure green. <laughs> It looks like you've sneezed. <laughs> it is with trinkets such as this brooch, and here a ring, that I intend to revive your fortunes and buy back your house. You think there's a big market for jewellery that looks like snot, then? <laughs>